Hi, I'm Sue from Everyday Artisan, and you may recognize me from my posts and comments on the Alabama Channon School of Making Stitch Along Facebook group, or from my blog or my Instagram, both of which I've linked down below. Um, I am a huge Alabama Channon, Natalie Channon School of Making fan. I first learned of them in 2010 through a book review in the Wall Street Journal, believe it or not, for the Alabama Studio Style book. And when I read about the ethos of organic, sustainable community, I knew I was all about it. Um, I've been stitching my own wardrobe ever since, all out of organic cotton with Alabama Channon School Making Materials. This jacket is my latest make that I haven't blogged about yet because I'm not quite finished yet. I haven't finished out how to close it. Um, but I really, have enjoyed uh, making, but I have kind of been in a rut. I My last blog post, if you've read, was on January 1st, uh, 2021. I was gonna start blogging more and start stitching more, and unfortunately life got in the way this past year, as it has for most people these past two years. Um, so I decided to go the easy route and order a kit from the School of Making. They just had a 20% off sale before the holidays and I decided I was going to treat myself. And so I did, actually, I ordered two kits. So today we're gonna unpack the box so you can see what your kit's gonna look like when you receive it. So follow along with me. Um, the, one of the things that got in the way for me this past year was the fact that I've been working full-time at my accounting job and so the kit I chose uh, I think it's gonna go along well with working in the office we'll see all right we have um, okay, packing slip which is good um, it does note that you'll see there's something in highlighted. I actually ordered one kit straight off the website, but one kit I wanted to customize to what I wanted to do. And Alabama Channon and the School of Making is a fantastic company for uh, appreciating that we all want to customize and do our own thing, and they will help you out, and I is fantastic. All right, so inside there is cute little postcard with a note. Hello, Susan. Thank you for your order. We deeply appreciate your support and we wish you the best as you work to create something beautiful. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Our team is always happy to help whenever we can and we look forward to connecting with you further. And then it's got some really beautiful pictures on it. Oh, that's, sorry about that. Oh, none of the pictures are what I'm making, but ironically, picture on here is the poncho with the polka dot which I've made before. It was the kit I bought when I went down to one of her Natalie Channon's weekend workshops back in 2016 I believe and it was a fabulous experience. Uh, I talk all about it on my blog. You can go to the post to that and uh, see what a great time. So the kits come in these little canvas pouches and see there's some more postcards down here oh little guides to different stitches this is the double overhand knot instructions and this is the herringbone stitch instructions so that's really nice that they give you these first starters in case you need it I'm actually wearing a corset right now that has the herringbone stitch on the binding. That's one of my favorite ones. Um, one of the first ones I learned. So the kits that I got were, I'm gonna tell you about this, this one first. This is the uh, classic pencil skirt and it is the one I ordered straight off of the School of Making uh, website. I'll link the link to it below. It's the pencil skirt in the tartan 
and it's black on black. Let's see what it says. Black on black, and it comes with elastic charcoal sage, black embroidery floss. So the skirt, pencil skirt, good for wearing at the office, and the cropped car coat. And although they have the car coat on the website, um, they have it in different colorways. They didn't offer it in the same black tartan colorway, but I kind of wanted to make a suit out of it, if you will. And so I t asked them if they would make me the kit in the tartan black colorway, and they did. I hope, let's open it up and make sure. It says they did. <laughs> okay, um, let's go ahead and I will open it first. You know, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna open this one first because this one comes, oh, they should both come with a lot of different embroidery floss colors. So let's go ahead and open this up. I was thinking about it when I ordered it. I was like, what could I use this material to make something else out of it? So we'll see what we end up coming up with. It's a cute little bag. It's got the little school of making tag on it. And actually the ribbon all has school of making on it as well. All right. So this is the pencil skirt kit. And I hope you can see the design on that. That is the tartan stencil. And so in the kit, oh, that's my kick pleat. <laughs> Don't wanna lose that. They are all two layers, although my kick pleat doesn't seem to have a second layer. And so this is the, I'm going to guess the front. Let's see if they even mark front or back for you. I think the kits in the past did. Ah, no, so we've got, ah, yes, we do, right there. Tells me it's the front, so there's the top of the front is in the tartan, the bottom of the front. Let's see if this one is marked as well, which would be nice to make sure I keep all the pieces together. It's not, but I'll make sure. Whoa, <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. I will make sure I keep the pieces together. So there's the front. And the back. And again, that's interesting that the kick pleat is only one layer. Oh wait, oh no, okay, there's more. There is the back layer of the kick pleat. I figured as much. And then they do a really sweet thing. They give you a little square. I think this looks to be about eight by eight. Uh, maybe a little smaller, maybe six by six, um, for you to do use as a sample. So practice your stitches, try different techniques. I'm definitely going to, with this skirt, go with the technique that she has on the website, um, which is just, there's no cutting involved. It's just stitching around in the squares um, to really kind of pop the contrasting stitching, which I love. But I have a great idea of what I wanna do with this little sampler. And um, I will do that in a later video. My, I guess I didn't tell you guys already, sorry. My uh, goal here is I used to do a project and then blog about it, but I kind of got tired of blogging and the last two projects included in this jacket. I never ended up blogging. And I thought maybe I'll try vlogging because something new, something fun, keep it interesting, keep it creative. And I really do love sharing the process. So this is hopefully gonna be the first of a beginning of a series of videos that I take you through creating these two garments. Back to what I got, there's a tag to sew into the back of the skirt that gives you a little place to write your name. It's made by you. And then every skirt needs an elastic waistband. All right, so then the next things, we get two schools of just black button craft thread, the Coates and Clark button craft thread, and this is for assembling. So that's gonna be for your seams, for I attach my elastic with this, 
um, in a stretch skit stitch. Need the stretch. <laughs> That's the pandemic. That's why the jacket doesn't close so well anymore. And then it comes with three different, three, yes, three different colors of embroidery floss. I have sage, which is a light green slash gray kind of, ochre, which I'm really excited about. This is the color I want it to be most of all, because um, I have a few ochre pieces already that I'm hoping to mix and match with it. And then these two are charcoal, which is a dark gray. And I didn't mention the tartan stencil on here, and I'll bring up the sample to show you again. The tartan stencil is in a Baroque paint, airbrush paint. So it is kind of a goldy, coppery gray. So I think the ochre is gonna look really fabulous with it. I will link below a picture to the colorway and I will put a link to, I've created a Pinterest page where it helps me decide what projects I want to do. So I separate out, you know, here's a by pattern or by colorway or by technique. Is it reverse applique, negative reverse? Is it an example of beading? Is it um, a different stencil? So I, in this case, I created a whole page and I couldn't find many pictures of pictures of people and how they used the tartan stencil. So I'm gonna go look at that and make sure I might wanna try something different on my sample. So that was the skirt kit. And I'm gonna put that to the side and do a quick open of the car coat kit. I love myself a coat or a jacket. Um, it's just a really easy way to wear Alabama Shannon, I think, just to throw a coat on top. So this is Keep going. Um, the, and the beautiful thing on the website, when you get the cropped car coat kit, you can um, tell them, hey, I want the sleeves longer, because I'm pretty sure this has a, a not even a two, like a quarter, not a cap, but a quarter sleeve. I don't know, we'll see, let's look at the pattern. Again, we have a tag, we have a little sample square, and we have the pattern, the pieces themselves. Again, I'm guessing tops, bottoms, marked by which piece they are. I'm guessing the car coat has quite a few more pieces. Um, like in this case, look, it says front and facing, and this is just the plain black. So then we have oh, this little small piece. These are probably going to be the parts of my um, pocket square fronts. And in fact, it does say pocket on there. So I want to make sure I keep all those together. So the facings, the pockets. This one says it's the... It's a big rectangle. There it is. This is the collar. Okay. Um, I don't know if these, I know for the instructions for the assembly of all of these, she has in her books, um, specifically the sewing pattern book she put out, has a lot of instructions for putting most of her pieces together. The car coat, I don't think I've seen the instructions anywhere. I'm guessing I'm gonna be able to go online and find them, or I'm going to be able to email them because they gave me their email and ask, hey, could you send me instructions? Um, okay, this is the pocket itself. I believe there's gonna be little pockets. In the Pinterest page, I have a, a pinned uh, picture of this very coat assembled. So that'll be helpful to have something to be able to look at. 
Um, we've got, ah, here's our sleeve. So our sleeve is, yeah, I'm guessing that's a quarter length sleeve. Um, so this one has quite a few pieces because I'm guessing there is a, a single back, two fronts, the collar or the sleeves, the collar, the pocket, the facing. Um, I'm going to look and see that says front. Let's see, this one says back. Yeah, let's look at the back comes as two pieces. So there are two pieces in the back. So there's going to be a seam down the center back. Okay, I, I know this isn't a great video. I've, I've been thinking lately the quote that great is the enemy of good. So hopefully this was a good video and hopefully you'll join me next time because uh, my next video is going to be a little uh, tutorial, if you will, on what I like to do with a kit when I receive it. Before I do any stitching, any pinning, anything like that, there are two things I like to do with the kit and I wanna tell you about those in the next video. So I hope you join me. I think I'm supposed to say like, smash, I don't know. <laughs> um, but thanks again, and I hope to see you again soon.